What's going on everybody? It's your boy Rick One Ball coming at you again with yet another classic. Now, if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm making sure I cover each and every NBA game to provide you with up-to-date sports analysis as well as my opinion on these games. Now, let's get into the game. The Cleveland Cavaliers versus the San Antonio Spurs. Now, this was a big game. San Antonio is not a good team, but this was a big game because it was Karius Levert's debut as well as Darius Garland coming to See how these two were going to play together along with Jared Allen who actually played with Karius Levert. People don't know this for about two and a half, three years over there in Brooklyn. So it, it was like a welcome home party for those two. The thing I see from this game with the with Darius Garland shooting the way he's shooting from three-pointer, uh, three-point range, they're going to have to let go of Colin Sexton. There's no if and buts about it. They're going to have to let go of him because there's no way that you're going to tell Darius Garland that he is not the alpha male of that team and the leader of that team. I felt like uh, Karis LeVert Perry played well. He threw a lob pass to Jared Allen, a nice alley-oop dunk. He found his own all offense. He had about 11 points on the night, 9 or 11 points on the night. And he flowed within the offense. He didn't overly do it. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't mess up the floor of the offense at all. And Jared Allen, he does his thing. Jared Allen with those long socks, he has me laughing all the time because he reminds me of an old school player. I mean, but he, he's really fundamentally sound, but he reminds me of like a sweeping hook, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, not talent wise, just by the way he carries himself on the court. About the San Antonio Spurs, around this time of year, I mean, trading deadline is tomorrow at midnight. So, you know, the thing about it is, you know, the Spurs aren't a good team to me, and they're not a good team record-wise as well. But you don't even know who's going to be on that team after Thursday, after the deadline. I expect Jakob Porter to be gone, uh, maybe even um, a couple of those players. So you don't put too much stock into these games until after the trading deadline, even with the Cavs. You know, they might make another move as well. So who knows what it is. But I appreciate you guys for rocking with me and staying tuned to what you guys do. It's your boy, Rick One Ball. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, too. Woo! I hit my phone, bro. If it ain't dope, bro. Dope, bro. Bill code, nigga, 250.